Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Andreas from the YouTube channel BTC Business Console. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm very excited to partner with my friends over at CryptoCentral.io to bring you this video about PlayKey.io. So basically what we're doing is we're going over the ICO verification process that PlayKey has partnered with us to do in order to verify their ICO, give them an in-depth overview, and then try to spot any inconsistencies or any cause of concern before their main sale goes live. So here we are talking about playkey.io. If you're interested in what the team's like, what products they have, and just a general overview of how their concepts work, stick around because that's what we're going to jump into right now. So here we are on the playkey.io website, and as you can see, their pre-sale has started and will go for approximately two and a half days left. One PKT, which is the PlayKey token, is 0.004 Ethereum. So one Ethereum will buy you 250 PlayKey tokens during the presale. Now their ICO starts on November 1st, so the presale will run for another couple days. Then there'll be a few days of downtime. Then their regular ICO will start. So now that we've touched on the ICO a little bit, let's talk about the PlayKey team. Continuing down on their website, you'll see that their CEO and co-founder is Igor Gurdjieff, also their CTO and co-founder Alexei Likov, and then joining them as another co-founder and director of game strategy is Vadim Adriv. I apologize if I said those names wrong. So as you can see, these guys are the main team, and if we look over at their LinkedIn profiles, for example on Igor, he had a previous business that he started and ran from February 2010 until August 2017. So seven years, seven months as CEO and founder. The LinkedIn profile for Alexei, you can see that he was also the chief technical officer for Inaza. And then Vadim, he was also the head of licensing for Inaza. So the team behind PlayKey, the three main guys, Igor, Alexei, and Vadim, have been working together on a previous successful project for a number of years which lends credency because they know how to work together, they know how to start a business, how to grow a business, and most importantly, how to drive value for investors. So the PlayKey ICO will be expanding on the previous platform called PlayKey.net. If we head over to PlayKey.net, you can see that you can play the latest top rated games on any PC. You can sign up and try it for free. If we scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see that your computer will transmit commands via the internet to the games running on PlayKey servers. So you may ask yourself, why are they doing an ICO if they have this previous PlayKey.net up and running? It's because they're trying to incorporate blockchain with smart contracts and decentralize the entire process. So now let's discuss the business behind PlayKey.io. What they're gonna be doing, as I previously said, is they're going to decentralize their entire process of streaming video game data. According to a study ran by Steam in June of 2017, up to 81% of active gamers do not have the video card requirements in order to play the latest AAA rated games. So PlayKey got together and said, hey, we are gonna decentralize this process, incorporate blockchain technology and smart contracts in order to help these people be able to use our platform more efficiently and to be able to bring other people into our platform. So what exactly are they gonna solve and how are they gonna solve it? They're going to have two types of users. They're going to have a gamer who wants to play games, and then they're going to be targeting cryptocurrency miners that have high-end graphics cards and high-end gaming computers. Kind of like how Netflix will stream data and videos to your computer, the PlayKey platform will connect you with somebody who has a high-end gaming computer, and they will stream that gameplay to you. Now these servers, since they'll be decentralized, you'll be able to find people that are close to you, so you could be getting up to 50 millisecond ping time, which is virtually instantaneous. So now let's talk about how the miners will be attracted to use the PlayKey platform. It is estimated now that a high-end video card such as an AMD 580 or an NVIDIA 1080 will be able to generate approximately a dollar and 50 cents per day if they were mining Ethereum. Now, however, you'll be able to leverage this and get more per video card per day because you'll be able to rent them out to people who want to play video games. So what you would do as a miner or an owner of a high-end graphics card computer, you will be able to set up a smart contract on the PlayKey platform and then say, hey, if someone wants to use my computer to stream video games, 
I will then accept their inputs, run the video game on my computer, and then stream it back to them. And it is estimated that you could get five or six times higher return, which would equate to approximately $10 per day as opposed to $1.50 per day. So it seems like a no-brainer, and it solves the issue that people want to play video games, and they'll be able to do this on the PlayKey platform, and that people who are mining cryptocurrencies will want to get the most bang for their buck, and instead of mining cryptocurrencies, they will be able to process video game data. So there you go, guys. This has been a quick overview about what PlayKey does, the problem they're solving, and how they intend to connect gamers with people who have high-end computers who usually mine cryptocurrencies. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you keep checking out our partner's website at CryptoCentral.io for the latest and greatest ICO certification reports and videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.